What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and it's time to do a Fairfield Fanatic Friday. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Fairfield box. Um, this is one of the newer ones. Uh, we'll talk about it and go over all that, but let's roll that intro first. Okay, so the reason why I haven't opened a Fairfield box in a while is kind of I was kind of turned off on them uh, when they went to the no peak boxes. I guess you could call it the no window box. Uh, the older Fairfield boxes had a window in them. You could actually see what pack you were getting in them. Um, but last year it kind of turned me off. The quality of them wasn't that good. Not that I'm necessarily looking for great great quality out of a Fairfield pharmacy box. Um, you know, I expect a lot of junk wax in these, but. Even the quality on the junk wax cards is pretty bad. I was getting a lot of crease cards and stuff like that. I mean, if you're just going to put base commons of 88 Donruss and 90 Donruss in these boxes, at least put decent, you know, quality cards. I'm not saying they have to be gem mint, you know, pristine 10s. But at least don't don't put, you know, cards that have been folded in half in <laughs> into the box. So it kind of turned me off on Fairfields last year. So one thing I noticed is these are now one in eight contain a hit they used to be one in four um so apparently the odds are tougher now which leads me to believe that they're making more of these boxes i would imagine um so uh, i would like to see in this a little more variety i'd like to see some early to mid 2000s cards in here that'd be nice to see maybe some late 90s uh one thing i noticed about fairfield boxes before you can tell the two eras there would be a lot of modern cards, like within a year or two of the current year, and then there would be um, a lot of junk wax era cards, you know, late 80s, early 90s, and there wouldn't be too much late 90s, early 2000s, which is kind of understandable. It's funny because it's like that follows kind of a lot of our collecting patterns anyways. We all collected as kids in the junk wax era and then got back into it in the the 2000 teens, I guess you could say. So it seems like that product seems to be more easily available for uh, Fairfields. Uh, it says look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, and autographs and more. So maybe you're not even guaranteed to get a, uh, let me try to get a closer view on that. Maybe you're not even guaranteed to get a pack. I mean, who knows? Parallels, autographs, and more. I guess we'll see when we break into it. So I'll quit rambling about it. And we will get into it. I wonder if the dates are on the bottom. So it's pretty much like last year. They quit putting the package printing date on it. I'm sure if you work for the uh, place that prints the packaging or works for Excel marketing, you'll know what these numbers mean. For some reason, it's not focusing on it. That's a little bit better. So you see spec 710, perhaps that 141226 number is the date. Or maybe even it's the 1102 number, the MD1102. Could it be a November 2nd printing date on this box? Who knows? All right. Let's quit talking see what we got in here. So it looks like we got a pack. Uh, pretty much, pretty sure that is a pack of Upper Deck. Probably 1990 Upper Deck, I would imagine. Uh, 91 Upper Deck. So I was wrong on that. And I did see some 89 Donruss in there, so there's the 90 Donruss as I talked about before. And one card stuck in there. A uh, very off-cut Chris Spire 86. So let's go ahead and go to this Fairfield and see what kind of cool stuff we got. Of course my goal is to get three or four PC cards, whether it be Braves, Hall of Famers, what have you. Um, well, let's go ahead and get through this. Like that one was the only one that was facing that direction. We'll split this up into into groups here. Right, Kenny Rogers, the Chicken Man, got Harold Baines. There's a Hall of Famer. That's one of them. Uh, Ross Jones, Jack Lazarko. All these are every which way. Mark Kabiska, Carlos Martinez, Dennis Powell. There's a highlights, 87 highlights of Brian Downing. Pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these around in a Fairfield. Billy Hatcher. There's a Tony Castillo for the Braves. Uh, this one's a little beat up, but it's not terrible. 
Turn around backwards here. Carmelo Castillo. Roger McDowell. Do his character. Juan Berenguer. Manny Trio. Hippolito Pichardo. Kevin Seitzer, 91. It's another Brave. Damon Berryhill, 93 tops. Tom Candiotti, 89. Mike Schooler. Tim Wallach, All Star. There's a Broderick Perkins. Padres from 82 Fleer. Put that one aside. Just because it's an older 80s card. Ray Knight. Tom Browning. And a John Franco, 91. I already hit a couple PC cards in here. At least uh, one Hall of Famer and Braves. That was another thing um, with the boxes last year. Just the lack of Hall of Famers. There's a Bill Dolly 84. Uh, here's a Joey Hamilton. Ultra Rookie. Gerald Williams. Craig McMurtry. Here's a Brave. I think I had that card. Here's, uh, some more 2000 stuff. 2011. Uh, Alcides Escobar, and a Jay Bruce from uh, Ticket to Stardom. That's an insert, I believe. I don't remember that set. 2009. There's a 2007 David DeLucci. A uh, Bowman Heritage of Pedro Bieto. And some more modern stuff here. Lewis Brinson. Uh, David Peralta, 2016. Uh, Alberto Mondesi, there's a Dustin Fowler, 89 Ton Benzinger, there's a Car or Irvin Santana, uh, Alvin Davis, 89, I don't know what these are, it's a different back that I'm used to seeing, so I don't know what set that's from, I've seen it before, but I do not remember, there's another John Franco, Mark Grant, uh, here's an Upper Deck, who is this? Paul Mulder. There we go. Hall of Famer. Y3K. Nice. Followed by another Hall of Famer, Randy Johnson. So this box is doing me pretty good. Score from 98. How about an Andrew Jones, SPX. Pretty nice. 2006. And a Alex Gonzalez, Supper Deck. Alex Gonzalez, Supper Deck. So this box is already pleasing me a little bit. <laughs> with the Braves and Hall of Famers in it, so I can't complain. Another Braves card here. Who's this? Another Andrew Jones. Patchworks. Fleer Patchworks. Uh, Tony Batista. Nichiro Tops Town card. That's pretty nice. Adam Everett. I would have to say that this box is starting to restore my faith in Fairfield boxes. <laughs> You know, for five dollars to be able to pull some Hall of Fame cards, it's, that's what I like to see. Here's a 2011 Chase Utley, a Lance Negro, uh, the Shark, Jeff Samarja, Bob Tewksbury. Here's a 1980 uh, Larry Murray, Jim Clancy. Uh, oh, nice, a 70s card. You don't see these in Fairfields too often. Terry Bulling, 1978. Kurt Stillwell, 90. There's an 80 Phil Mankowski. I do consider 1980 to still be uh, vintage. My cutoff date is 81 because that was the years that Fleer and Donruss uh, got into the the game, so to say. Barry Jones. Uh, who's this? Kelly Stinnett. We got Monty Ferris. The wrong Jeter. This is Sean Jeter. There's a Joe Nesketh Braves card. I'll set that one aside. 90 checklist. There's Jeff Lottie, 84. Chuck Carr. There's a Curtis Shaw. Minor leagues from Pro Cards. Luis Polonia. Mike Bordick. Score. Uh, Mike Harkey. Carlos Martinez. So this is, this is one of the things I was talking about before. So this is 92 Stadium Club. I believe. Yeah, 92. Um, cards like this were rampant in the Fairfields last year, and I see they haven't stopped putting them in boxes, but at least this is really the only one that's like really terrible condition. You can see that this one was bricked with another card, and it's just got 
paper loss. It's probably two glossy cards stuck together. Uh, the card that pulled off of this one is probably just tore to pieces. Um, there's no reason to throw a card like that in there. I mean, that card's... And, and, and I'm not even a... You know, I don't buy Fairfields looking for value, but that's not even value. <laughs> Scott Terry and a Kevin McReynolds. So, before we even open this pack, I would have to say this was a success. But there's Broderick Perkins up there. So, let's see what we get in uh, 91. What are we looking for here? That Williams cards in here. Or was that 92? 91, Chipper Jones, rookie maybe. Second year, Frank Thomas. Just looking for a Hall of Famer. Which sticker did we get? Full size Texas Rangers. Very shiny, very nice. Shout out to Bradley Moore. And Austin F. Uh, we got Mike Sims. Who this? Mark Williamson. Candy Maldonado, Chuck Finley, Rob Deere, strikeout, home run hitter extraordinaire, uh, Franklin Stubbs, got Ronnie Gantz, I do have this card, but it's always good to pull a Ron Gantz, Vince Coleman, Julio Franco, shout out to Scott, Reindeer Studios, Wally Backman, uh, Tom Browning, or Brunanski, sorry. I said Tom Browning. We got the Cobra, Dave Parker, one of his last years playing. Corey Snyder, shout out to Ranger Studios again, and a TP, Terry Pendleton. So, not a bad Fairfield. I would say this is not the best Fairfield I ever opened, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely not the worst. Uh, kind of restored my faith in Fairfield, actually. Pulling these cards, getting some Braves. How about an Ichiro, Andrew Jones, two Andrew Jones, Randy Johnson, Paul Molitor, McMurtry Braves, so some Braves here, and a Harold Baines. So we got, we hit my total of Hall of Famers plus some Braves cards. And uh, Andrew Jones, who could possibly make it in the Hall of Fame one day, would bring this up to six, but love the fact that I was able to pull this many. All right, folks, so that do it for the day. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, make sure you come visit on Sunday. We'll be doing BBGB uh, break number 41. And I know I said that faster. Like, what'd you say? I said BBGB. That stands for the Bargain Buster Group Break. Uh, we'll be doing that this Sunday. The break is full. Uh, but if you're interested in cheap breaks, definitely come check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's all about hanging out in the chat. Um, seeing the randomizer and all that. And, and picking the random packs and just wondering what you're going to get it's it's kind of it's really random uh you really don't know what's going to happen in the break until it occurs we pull the packs and we rip it open um i think we got uh two surprise hits in the last one maybe one surprise hit um so that's always fun but i appreciate everybody watching let me know what you think about the new fairfields have you picked any up uh are you going to pick any up let me know this box i think i'll pick another one up in the future based on this box but if they start looking like the boxes from last year i'll cut them off again so uh thank you all for watching remember you only draw two things not your thoughts and your actions so stay positive keep ripping them packs even if they're fair fields keep collecting keep supporting each other and give us my hug today and make you feel better and everybody have a great weekend if i don't see you and until the next video peace